today we will start with new chapter that is partial fraction this is lecture number 1 and in this chapter we will study what are the basics of the partial fraction what means polynomials proper and improper fractions so before starting anything we must know what means fraction so firstly we will write here what means fraction now we are already familiar with the fractions of the numbers like 7 by 11 okay now in this case we know this is called numerator and this is called denominator okay but now in this chapter we will be dealing will with the fractions of the polynomials so for that we must understand the definition of the polynomial so what means polynomial so polynomial is basically an algebraic expression so we will write here a polynomial is an algebraic expression it is an algebraic expression formed using constants constant means numbers and symbols called in determinants called in determinants means of addition subtraction multiplication and division okay i will explain it again what means polynomial so polynomial is basically an algebraic expression okay and that algebraic expression consists of constants some symbols like addition subtraction multiplication and division okay for example like if i'll consider one polynomial f of x is equal to like x cube plus 5x square minus 7x plus 3 so this is a polynomial okay another example like g of x equal to x to the power 4 minus 5x to the power 1 plus 7 this is also a polynomial so what we are interested we are interested in the degree of the polynomial so what means the degree of the polynomial okay so we will write here what means degree of polynomial so basically the degree of the polynomial is the highest degree i will write here degree of polynomial is highest degree of the term involved in the polynomial okay so it's very simple what means the degree for example if i'll consider one polynomial p of x is equal to suppose x square plus 5x plus 6 now we need to identify what is the highest degree term in this polynomial so that is 
x square is the highest degree term and the degree of x square is 2 that's why and it is the highest degree term that's why the degree of this polynomial p of x is 2 okay therefore we can write here degree of p of x is 2 okay so this was first example if i'll consider the second example if i'll consider q of x suppose q of x is equal to x to the power 5 minus 7x plus 8 now we know the highest degree term involved in this polynomial is x to the power 5 therefore the degree of this polynomial k of x is 5 so i think it is clear now what means the degree of the polynomial okay now while studying this chapter we must understand what means polynomial and the degree of the polynomial now what we'll do we will understand what means rational fraction rational fraction okay so a rational fraction we know the fraction of the numbers right so now we will understand what means the fraction of the polynomials okay and that is called rational fractions okay so rational fraction is a fraction rational fraction is a fraction is a fraction in which in which both numerator and denominator are rational numbers rational numbers are are polynomials okay that is called rational fraction for example if i'll consider f of x is equal to p of x upon q of x then this is called the fraction of the polynomials in this case in this case this p of x and q of x both are what polynomials okay in particular suppose i will take f of x is equal to x square minus 1 upon x cube plus 3x square plus 4 okay now we know this is a polynomial x square minus 1 and in the denominator x cube plus 3x square plus 4 is also polynomial so this is called the fraction of the polynomials fraction of polynomials okay another example we can see okay this is first one second one if i'll take here suppose g of x is equal to x minus 1 upon like x raised to 4 plus 5 x square minus 3 okay now you can see again this x minus 1 is a polynomial and it is a polynomial of degree 1 and in the denominator this x raised to 4 plus 5 x square minus 3 is also polynomial and it is a polynomial of degree 4 and numerator and denominator both contains polynomials it means it is a fraction of polynomials okay so i hope it is clear now what means polynomials what is the degree of the polynomials and what means the fraction of polynomials okay so in the fraction there will be 
polynomial in numerator as well as in the denominator okay now we will study some types of fractions okay so the types are proper and improper fractions proper and improper fractions so in that first case we will understand what means proper fraction okay so for that consider a fraction of polynomials consider a fraction of polynomials like suppose i'll consider one polynomial here like f of x is equal to some p of x and q of x okay where p of x and q of x are polynomials then this f of x or p of x upon q of x it's said to be proper fraction if 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 degree of p of x is strictly less than degree of q of x okay if this is happening if degree of p of x is strictly less than the degree of q of x then we say that this fraction f of x is a proper fraction for example if i'll consider f of x is equal to like x minus 1 upon x square minus 4 okay now we know this is like p of x upon q of x type okay now you can see the degree of numerator that is degree of x minus 1 is what 1 and degree of x square minus 4 is what 2 so degree of numerator is strictly less than the degree of a denominator it means that it means that this f of x equal to x minus 1 upon x square minus 4 is a proper fraction is a proper fraction okay i hope it is clear in the next term we will study what means improper fraction improper fraction okay so again in this case consider a polynomial fraction polynomial fraction like suppose i will consider g of x is suppose p of x upon q of x now this fraction is said to be improper fraction if degree of p of x is greater than or equal to degree of q of x then the fraction g of x is said to be improper fraction okay so see this 
this fraction will be improper if degree of p of x is greater than or equal to degree of q of x then we say that this fraction g of x is improper fraction for example if i'll consider g of x is equal to suppose x cube minus 3x square plus 1 upon x square plus 5x plus 2 now question is whether this is proper or improper fraction now we need to observe the degree of numerator that is x cube minus 3x square plus 1 the degree of numerator is 3 and the degree of denominator plus 2 is 2 now you can see the degree of numerator is greater than or equal to the degree of denominator it means that the given fraction is an improper fraction one more example we can see second one suppose i will take another frac fraction h of x is equal to suppose x raised to 3 plus 4 upon x minus 1 now again you can see the degree of numerator the degree of numerator is 3 and degree of denominator is 1 it means that it is a improper fraction thank you